diesel pumps and then the regular pumps came back on. But this thing with nuclear power plants staying on the grid matters a lot. In Japan this year, they first had an earthquake that caused a tsunami, but it was when the tsunami knocked out electricity at the Fukushima nuclear power plant that the world knew Fukushima was really in trouble. Without electricity, Fukushima could not keep its spent nuclear, excuse me, could not keep its reactors or its spent nuclear fuel cool. The Japanese government now says that three of the reactors may have suffered not just meltdowns, but melt-throughs melt through the internal super strong containment vessel. And that is a real nuclear nightmare. One of the things we are learning as this scary situation drags on in Nebraska is that Fort Calhoun, which was built in 1973, uh, Fort Calhoun was built partly on the basis of a mistake Somebody miscalculated the pumping capacity the plant would need for a catastrophic flood. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission discovered the error in an inspection two years ago, and the plant has been upgraded since under the not very old, old system of flood protection. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission calculated that the pumping plan had a 97.5% chance of protecting the reactor core from a catastrophic flood, which is almost good enough. Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant is now two feet below the level of the Missouri River, where the plant is required to shut down. The river is at about 1,006 feet above sea level. If the water got above 1,014 feet, they say it would knock out the backup generators, and at some point it would come over the specific berm that protects the casks of spent nuclear fuel. But again, don't worry. The plant operators tell the Omaha paper that these 88-ton casks, these radioactive behemoths, um, are anchored, so they won't float away. So at least there's that. For now, everything is fine, if occasionally wet at Fort Calhoun, we are told, but with forecasts calling for a rainy summer, Fort Calhoun and its aqua dams and its concrete berms will need to keep holding out in the biggest test of a nuclear plant in the United States to the threat of flooding, and it will need to keep holding out against that threat for months.